Hey, what's good, power people? This is the Power Living with Purpose podcast with David C. Henderson. And guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Tactical Tuesday. Woo, 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 woo. All right, all right. I don't know if you're as excited as I am. But anyway, Tactical Tuesday is sponsored by Opportunities Unlimited Business Group, where ambition and success unite. Uh, national business uh, and career networking, um, job opportunities, investment opportunities, business opportunities, and also nonprofit and philanthropy opportunities. That is www.weareoubg.com. That's www.weareoubg.com. All right, so this Tactical Tuesday, this is the first, the, all these first installments are talking about how to actually improve your city. Now, this is the next part, which is about um, how to improve, actually improve your city. This part is activist organizations. All right. Now, notice I did not say activist individuals. I said activist organizations. There is not one activist in the history of activism who ever got anything accomplished simply by themselves alone. You have to be part of an organization or a group. And what you have to do in order to, okay, let's say you got the best city in the world. They got all the businesses going every, on. Um, we got great neighborhoods. You got uh, jobs. You got great schools. You got all that stuff, low crime. But somebody decides that they're going to take advantage of a certain situation on this side of town, on this side of town, from this office, from this place. When somebody is, is, is mismanaging or misusing something, that's when it's up to the activist community to step up and say, hey, uh-uh, no, 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 ain't going down like that, bro. Ain't going down like that, sis, not in my town, not in my house, no, 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 not today. You know, uh, you remember the, the Geico commercial with Kim A. Mutombo. But, um, yeah, so the activist community are the ones who step up when they see wrongdoing. Um, historically, it's, a lot of it has been based on racism and discrimination and all of that stuff. But uh, as uh, Martin Luther King said, um, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So whether it's the NAACP or the color of change or your um, urban league, different things, uh, you know, working towards building more equality, um, whether you got your Black Lives Matter, um, preferably more on the local level, not necessarily on the national level, because they, they seem to have some, some issues on the national level with Black Lives Matter. Meanwhile, on the local level, um, there are tremendous um, people in place on the local level, all right? Um, okay, had to fix on there. All right, so um, basically, uh, now the people, now the people that rioted in the streets when um, uh, George Floyd was killed, and um, and that just really got a lot of attention all over the world. Um, people all over the world were coming out and protesting, but the protest is only as good as the amount of organization and strategic uh, planning and strategic demands made by an actual organization that has a specific set of demands for a specific um, target. Um, so if you have Black Lives Matter, we say they say we want this, we want A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we want it to come from you, from you, you know who, and, or, you know, from you, um, Organ you uh, people in charge, you power powers that be, and we want it by then, by this point, or we're going to uh, keep on putting pressure and we're going to keep on having protests and riots. But if you're just making noise about something that's wrong and you don't have a strategic plan of what do you want, how do you plan to get it? Is are you are what you ask is what you're asking for realistic? Uh, is is it? You know, does it even make sense? Um, so, yes, absolutely. When you see something wrong, say something. If you see something, say something. If you if you're in, if you live, if you love your city, your community, um, and you see things that are not happening, that are not going right, and you won't say anything about it for year after year after year after decade after decade after decade, then 
it's all your fault just as much as a citizen because you you stood by and you took it. Anybody can, you know, any uh, a bully is never going to stop bullying if you just keep letting them bully you. If you actually stand up for yourself as a city, as a community, and you stop the bullying, then you can get somewhere. But you have to be organized because one bully is no match for a group of 100 people who have made it up in their minds. We're going to keep on applying pressure. We're going to make as many phone calls, as many emails, have as many rallies, do as whatever we got to do until you fix what's wrong. So that's the next step in actually improving your city, not just talking about what's wrong with it, but actually being a part of the activist community that is willing to stand up and say, we will not be quiet. We will not back down and no justice, no peace. We will we will continue to push this issue until we see change and we will not accept um, wrongdoing um, at any level in our community because the, if you really want your community to make progress, you got to get rid of all the shady stuff and or the, the, the majority of the shady stuff and the crooked stuff and all that type of stuff. And that's not pointing fingers at anywhere because every city, every county, <laughs> pretty much everywhere has something that uh, is done in the dark that may not come to light for a while. But it's up to the activist organizations to when they see something, to say something, to stand up and demand change. And if you're not part of um, uh, the local uh, a local organization that's an activist um, style organization, and but you but you actually care about things and you're passionate about making a change in your in your city your community then maybe you need to get involved with an activist organization there are plenty of ones to choose from as well as independent ones that are not national so that's one of the ways that on um that you can actually strategically improve your city and this is the first the first part of tactical tuesday has been Ways to actually improve your city. Eventually, we're going to move on to other stuff, but we wanted to make sure I tackle all of these first. All right. Thanks. And once again, Tactical Tuesday is sponsored by Opportunities Unlimited Business Group, National Career Network, Business Network, Business Opportunities, Job Opportunities, Investment Opportunities, um, and Venture Capital uh, Opportunities, and Nonprofit uh, Exposure. All right. This has been Tackle Tactical Tuesday with the Power Living with Purpose podcast. With David C. Henderson, stay powerful, my friends.